will give you all my praise. I will give you, I will give you all my praise any day, any time. All my praise. I will give you, I will give you all my praise any day. Let's get it, let's get it. I got Come on, hey. Sorry. Oh, so we up in person or whatever. I didn't mean to get too close to the camera. Sorry to invade your personal space. But hi, guys. My name is Rachel and welcome back to your own self. Don't forget to like, guys, 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 we've been over this, all right? We have been over this. You need to like, you need to subscribe. Look, if you like me, like the video. If you, if you know that the advice in these videos has helped you, subscribe and you know whilst you're subscribed you know sometimes subscribing is not enough turn on the bell notifications you know like glow with l said like lisa said my dear wise friend she said promotion is long like it's actually long nobody wants to self-promote themselves so if you could just press the bell you know yes i will wait for you to like the video before you even watch and then subscribe um yeah just just press the button yeah Anyway. So, hi guys, um, i got so much peace in my heart, like, I actually feel so good, like, I'm so happy, I'm in such a great place, and, like, I'm saying this, and I actually believe what I'm saying, like, it's not fake, like, it's actually not fake, like, I'm not pretending, it's not a fake smile, like, it's actually real, not that anybody cares, but anyway, um, today we are going to be talking about Embrace Your Beautiful embrace your beautiful embrace your scars your stretch marks and your cellulite and your skin and your body size and everything just embrace your beautiful please i beg of you or embrace your handsome i don't know if you guys are watching embrace your handsome shall i tell you what everybody has insecurities you are not human if you do not have insecurities okay um, a lot of people are insecure about stretch marks and cellulite and scars and everything but love your scars boy girl sis love your scars okay no I'm being serious love them because even Beyonce the most beautiful woman in the world she has cellulites she does stretch marks and cellulite they're kind of like natural marks that appear on your body so like stretch marks is kind of like if you lose weight or if you gain weight you're gonna have stretch marks sometimes it's in head inherent in um you can inherit um you can inherit stretch marks um especially if you know people tend to be obese in your family then you can inherit stretch marks you know like it's just it's just the way the body works and it's just do you want me to out okay where my stretch marks are they're inappropriate so i can't really show you otherwise i actually would show you like they're just i don't even know about my stretch marks because i can't i can't see them myself unless i actually I actually go inside the mirror see i'm fat okay you just saw it i'm fat so um everybody has stretch marks everybody has cellulite i have cellulite as well um, I have a couple scars on my body like this one. Where is it? Um, even for me my dark skin was a scar There we go. Can you see that? See I have scars like that, you know, just fun Anyway, as I was saying my skin used to be a scar for me just because you know Whether we like it or not light skins have it easy. All right, not only am I dark skin, but I am dark skin and i had to learn to love my beautiful because even society didn't promote me society did not promote my skin color at all going to even shopping simple shopping for makeup it was difficult when i was you know when i first got into it but we bless god for people like riri auntie riri coming out coming through for other dark skins you know lancome estee lord or whatever mac sometimes you know but it's just good because now people are actually you know in the make in the um beauty industry and in the makeup industry that actually catering for people of our skin tone still looking for a contour but anyway it's all right it's all right it's okay i don't know why i'm like this but anyway um i have insecurities guys if you really want to know you need to watch my growing up dark skin video i'm gonna put it in the card up there yeah um I was insecure about my weight. I will insecure. I will insecure. Wow. I will insert some pictures of how big I used to be. Okay. 
um what else have i been insecure i've been insecure about my my voice like the way i speak my accent because obviously uh people used to call me an oreo so i'm like really really black like i'm dark like i'm blacker than most people but apparently i'm white but i'm blacker than all of you put together my i'm rich in melanin mahogany you know shall i tell you what let's talk about this colorism skin thing real quick here yeah. all black is beautiful there are different shades of black let's just put it out there we got our runny caramel our sweet honey our brown chocolate our dark deep chocolate i am a deep rich mahogany okay i'm gonna insert a picture that has a quote for all my dark skin sisters that should encourage you Every skin tone is beautiful, okay? I shouldn't have to work extra harder because of my skin tone. Anyway, guys, anyway, all I wanted to say is everybody has insecu ins insecurities. Oh, what was I even saying? Okay, yeah, people used to call me an Oreo because apparently I talk like a white person. I sound like a white person. And then, um, obviously, I went to a school where it was, like, predominantly, like, white areas. And when I go to interviews and when I'm with important people, I try to, like, adjust my accent. I know, it sounds really crazy, but I adjust my accent to who I'm with. I think this is something that everybody does, to be honest. But, like, it, it was something that I was insecure about my accent because i didn't know if i was speaking english or if i wasn't speaking english or whatever but anyway here we are um i used to be insecure about a lot of things when i was younger i was a drama queen like i was actually a drama queen I used to seek attention because i was so insecure about my skin color because when i was younger in primary school people basically told me that i was ugly they told me that i was fat when i wasn't um they just drummed all this negativity inside of me every day monday to friday 24 7 so i adopted those words those beliefs so i had to go through a self-love process and undo all of that and you know what guys after the self-love process because i did that with flesh then i had to come to the lord okay because when you go back to your word and you know your identity there is nothing society can say about your skin color about your your weight your size your whatever because it doesn't matter because what god says about you is all that matters in genesis chapter one amplified version that's my favorite version of the bible after um kjv because that's the original but anyway let's not get into that too 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 tough it says that he created something and every time he created something it said that it would that he validated it god validated it so when he created man he validated you he created you like that he created you in that body form because that's what you are supposed to look like be happy of it do you know what um some of you yeah you won't figure eights i'm so sorry I, am, I don't know what videos you have watched, but let me tell you right now, your um, body figure is all down to bone structure. If your bone structure is not figure eight, I'm so sorry, you're not gonna get it. You're not gonna get it. So just appreciate it. Some of you, you're insecure about your weight, go to the gym. Just go to the gym. If go to the gym and eat healthier, it's not even that deep. Like literally, even if it's just drinking water every day or stop eating at 8 p.m. or um, take out uh, chocolate, small small changes like that you'll see you'll actually see difference drink apple cider vinegar if you have to do you get what i mean just ugh, i don't know why i'm talking so much but anyway guys embrace your scars embrace your beautiful because you are beautiful just the way you are i am beautiful just the way i am oh my gosh and i actually believe i'm paying i actually don't care i got sauce <laughs> got the sauce hey guys can you see my scarf or what guys i got sauce can you not see what sometimes you have to big yourself up some of you yeah you're big you're craving the um you want figure eight but if you went to the if you just go to the gym shed off the fat then you'll see your figure eight because it's just hiding underneath the flap some of you just need to dress for your size you know, dress for your size, go shopping, do a face mask, meet up with your girls. I'm going to be meeting up with my girls this weekend and I'm so excited because that's what I need. Do you get what I mean? Embrace your beautiful, embrace your scars, embrace your stretch marks, embrace your cellulite. Yes, you, I'm talking to you. Embrace everything about you because you are created like that for a reason. So please, 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 guys, for the love of God, love yourself for who you are okay okay is there anything else i'm supposed to say no okay guys yeah i'm back and i'm better i'm back and i'm better what so hopefully my schedule is so busy but by god's grace i will be here 
on YouTube every Wednesday and possibly every other Monday or like some Mondays, you know. And um, yeah, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I hope you're encouraged. Guys, please, 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 I love you. And if you're ever feeling insecure, if you ever need anybody to talk to you, I am, my DMs are open. My Snapchat, look, my Snapchat is it's Rach underscore XO. It's Rach, I-T-S-R-A-C triple H underscore XO. And then my social media, yeah, my Instagram, my Twitter, at your own self, okay? Guys, I'm being serious. DM me if you need it, if you need encouragement, if you need someone to hype you up, if you need a hype man, I can hype you up. Because I'll tell you why. Because I'm a hype man. Ask my friends, I'm a hype man. Girl, I know you. I see you watching this video. You cute or whatever. Look at your smile, whatever. Like, you so fine. Like, anyway, I would date you if I was a boy, honestly. But obviously, um, guys, I'm peng. Oh my gosh. If I'm peng and you're subscribed to this channel, then you too, you're peng. Because I believe that what God has blessed me with is contagious. So whatever I get, the blessings is contagious. You gonna catch it too. You gonna catch it. Okay, I actually need to shut up. But guys, I love you. I actually love you. I don't know you. I don't know who's watching, but I love you. Okay, because yeah, I actually do. And I want the best for everybody. And my videos are just getting a bit too long these days. All right, bye guys. Bye, it's time for me to go. Work towards being the best version of you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Some people trust immortal men.